it is time for the main event. It will be for the Universal Championship. It will be the architect Seth Rollins defending against the drifter Elias. Out first on his way to the ring is Elias. We mentioned it in part one and I believe part two as well. This match was confirmed moments before part one went up that edge basically granted Elias a shot here at the title Edge had in mind putting Ambrose and Reigns in a matchup which we saw kick off part two where the big dog came out on top after a great matchup with Ambrose so Elias getting a chance at the Universal Championship he's done great in basically every match that he's been in he's won several multi-man matches over the last several pay-per-views had a good showing in the Royal Rumble as well so Elias looking to spoil the potential Shield triple threat at Mania if he can defeat the Kingslayer here tonight he'll do just that so Elias guitar and all taking on Seth Rollins Again, Rollins has been the longest reigning Universal Champion here in Universe Mode. Two-time Universal Champion at that. Makes his way to the ring. Some sporting new attire. Some superstars have been doing that. This pay-per-view were on the road to WrestleMania, of course. So, a little change in attire is expected at this point. But Seth Rollins... Looking to walk in to this pay-per-view as champ and leave it as well. Heads in, he then would head into WrestleMania in the main event with the title. Another chance at defending it against Roman Reigns and most likely Dean Ambrose as well. So we're going to get into this main event matchup now. If you guys haven't already dropped a like, be sure to do so. Before this matchup comes to an end, comment below who you think is going to win. And after you've watched the whole match, if your person that you predicted to win actually won or not, let me know. If there's a poll above, be sure to participate in that. Elias versus Seth Rollins, Universal title on the line. To start things off. Again, big drop kick. Seth Rollins starts it off there with the offense. Saw Elias coming. Leaped in the air, hit the drop kick. Now another one to the back of the drifter. Big right hands, Elias with a left. And just picking up Rollins by the arm. Great strength there by the drifter. off the ropes has a little bit of a collision with Elias face first into the turnbuckle the reversal there Elias now face first into the top turnbuckle Rollins turns it around step up in Seguri nearly takes his head off kick to the gut Rollins now has him in a powerbomb position. Elias fights out of it though. Gets himself from potential disaster. Trading forearms and elbows now. Kicks in midsection. Blocked there by Elias. Both men going back and forth. Rollins to the second rope. Getting 450 and Elias rolls out of the way. Rollins crashing and burning there. Not the kind of burning down that he would exactly want or anticipate. Kicks to the gut by Elias, followed by a short arm clothesline. Rollins in trouble now. Elias to the second rope. Pushes him back a bit. Double axe handle by the drifter. Rollins with a huge reversal. Kick 
to the gut again. Rollins with the blackout curb stomp. That might be it for Elias. It's reversing whatever Elias is going to do. Turns it into the curb stomp and Elias out at two. Elias not going down without a fight. Got caught off guard there by the curb stomp. Able to get out of it just in time. At least prolong this match a little bit more. Float over to EDT. Nice move planting the Universal Champion. Picks up Rollins. Big reversal. Right hands to Elias. Float over DDT by the champion. Plants him. Seth going up top. Not going to be good for Elias. Hits him with the frog splash into the cover. One, two, and now the drifter kicks out again. Seth fired up the crowd firmly behind their universal champion. Also, this crowd definitely does not want to see Elias champion, especially if that means spoiling a shield triple threat at Mania. Tosses Rollins over the top rope. Elias has a moment to catch his breath and to gloat. Seth to his feet. Elias gets out of the ring. It's tossed back in by the champion. Seth onto the apron. Springboard knee takes Elias down. Out of the ring. Seth tosses himself over the top rope onto Elias. Putting it all out there tonight. Out to the apron once again, waiting for Elias to get to his feet. The drifter is stirring. Uses the rope as support. Another springboard missile drop kick there by the architect. Zip into the schoolboy super kick right to the face. Into the cover on the drifter. One. Two, and now Elias kicks out. Rollins into another pin attempt. One, two, and Elias out again. Seth like Rollins just trying to put Elias away any way possible. Sends him off to the apron. Big right hand. Another springboard knee by the architect. Rollins going for the blackout curb stomp a second time. But not going for the cover. Goes up top. Seth knows Elias may not be done yet. Into the 451. Two. And he puts him away that time. The finisher followed by the 450 puts the drifter away that that rumored triple threat match at Mania we have again it's not confirmed that's just heavy speculation over the last couple weeks since Roman won the rumble but Elias put up a fight definitely can stay in contention for the title come 2k19 but for right now Rollins walks out of fast lane and into WrestleMania as the Universal Champion and it's just a matter of if he will face the big dog or the big dog and the lunatic fringe his shield brothers Seth Rollins a huge title retention here tonight that'll wrap up things here from fast lane if you guys enjoyed this episode and this pay-per-view as a whole be sure to leave a like comment share subscribe and all that fun stuff and we'll see every Buddy, next time.